welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing CVS. This really is, to be honest with you, a complete and total disaster of a chart at this point now. We did this yesterday. This was a play of the day in 8.5, but then today it gapped up and rallied. So it gapped down here in earnings, rallied. Then it gapped down here, fell. Then it gapped up today, rallied. I mean, this chart is so sloppy i can't tell you how sloppy this chart is right now to be honest with you again you could say well it gapped up today with the market and it rallied today with the market but the fact is it really should have fallen and i watched it i watched this this day it really should have fallen here i don't know why it didn't it didn't whatever but the reality was it was a nice short here the day we did it we had a perfect perfect entry and it dropped down and went a little bit further than i thought but i think this is interesting because sometimes things don't set up and sometimes things don't work and you don't know why they don't work there's no reason why they don't work and that's just life i think it's difficult for people sometimes when they're trading and they say wait a minute wait a minute i want things to work and i want them to work every single day there's always a percentage of times when something will not work and a trade will lose and it doesn't make any sense but it doesn't mean you give up on the strategy and it also doesn't mean you give up on the on the directional bias or the gap of the trade you could have done this like I said, the second day down, which is exactly what we did. I wish it would have gotten a little bit earlier, um, but let's look at the one minute here and I'll just show you this whole day. Again, this was not today. This was, what was this today? Hold on, eight, five. Here. So that was the whole day. Again, it lifted. No, that was eight, four. Hold on. Let me go to eight, five. Let me just get rid of this. I have to blow it up. Here, that's eight five. So again, even this was sloppy. So we did we did not do this up in here. Usually I'm aggressive, I did not. Uh, we did this late, but the point is you can see here how sloppy this really was. But then the sell-off came in, and this was a sell-off, to be honest with you, that I was expecting on the original day of the gap. Again, why do sometimes things back up? Because there's always a percentage of times where you have things that don't work. And this goes back to my point that I was making on the previous video, why trade sizing is critical to your success and the consistency because you have to account for the fact that a certain percentage of trades are gonna lose. So you can't be all over the place and expect that every trade wins. That is the name of the game, that's trading. But how do you make money in the market? You have more winners than losers. That's how you're successful, that's how you do it. And how do you do that? I use stops. It's a limit order stop, okay? If the trade doesn't work, I stop out. Again, sizing, consistency in the sizing, making sure you take profits, all of these things, not over trading. Over trading is deadly, it's dangerous, and it's one of the reasons why I close the trading room early in the morning. But this had the quick drop off. This fell off into right before the lunchtime period. This worked out again the second day. But right now after today, it's very interesting. I talked about it earlier. This is really setting up like a cheese sandwich here where this is the bread and this is the cheese and this is the bread again. Whether you want to say it's because of the market or not, this should have fallen the first day it didn't. It fell the second day and then it should have fallen through lower. I think this chart is very sloppy. To be in this in any position overnight whatsoever at all, which we're not, would be very dangerous because it's really floundering here and it can't make up its mind in the direction. It can't. It won't. So I would just leave this be. But it was a nice late trade, a short on A5, and we'll see where it goes. I'll have to look, take a look at this next week. I mean, I, I, we could have another cheese bar on, on Monday. I don't know. I don't know. But it's kind of sloppy here at this point. Good luck, everyone. Have a great weekend.